So here I am running inside the iPhone 6 Plus simulator on my Mac, and here's a very boring app I wrote called View Source. It's interesting only for two reasons. Firstly, it's written entirely in Swift, Apple's new coding language. Everyone loves a challenge, let's face it. Uh, but secondly, it includes a Safari extension. First, the app. There are a lot of view source apps out there already. This is nothing special. Just go ahead and enter a URL. Let's say uh, www.apple.com. It will fetch a URL, pull out the HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and throw it onto a page for you to browse around with lovely syntax highlighting. Press the action button. You can go ahead and copy the pasteboard, email it to yourself. Set whether you want the highlighting enabled or not. Choose a theme. Say, for example, you might want a nice dark theme going on. Uh, it's fairly standard stuff. The interesting stuff, what makes it different, is the Safari extension, new in iOS 8. And this app will hopefully be available when iOS 8 ships. Uh, in Safari, here's the apple.com homepage rendered in the iPhone 6 Plus in landscape. And the action button, when it's pressed, you can swipe to the right and choose more. And you'll see in here, view source. Just check that, drag it to the top, or wherever you want it, of course, down to you. And it will appear in this list right inside Safari. I can go ahead and choose view source and it'll pull from the HTML of the page I'm currently looking at and show it in there with the same syntax highlighting. And again, you can go ahead and share it, email it yourself all you want to. So the app is uh, coming hopefully with the launch of iOS 8, written entirely in Swift. If you'd like to have a source code, get in touch. I'm on Twitter. Uh, I am uh, two straws, TWO straws. Uh, get in touch. I'll happily chat, help you out, and show you how to build Safari extensions. It's, it's a lot of fun, and Swift, once you're used to it, really is a lot of fun too.